That's usually the first meal of the day. clothes all night and uh, according to the NGOs who handle poverty in the world so did 85 percent of the population of the planet sleep in their clothes last night and the most of those people that's the only clothes they own so since I'm with the majority of the population of the earth I don't feel so damn bad about wearing these again today which I will do <coughs> anyway, gotta go on a job search. As I said, they, they hired a new girl to handle the employment situation for the company, and man, she messes things up. But, uh, it, you know, she's only new. But rather than wait for them, to arrange my uh, employment, I decided to continue looking and uh, pick up something else. So, now the thing to do is, since I'm happy with what I'm wearing, it's not bad, the shirt's wrinkled like hell, but I'll be wearing a sweater, I guess, or a jacket. It's time to fix the air, this frizzy. Frizzy hair. Okay, we're back in the washroom. It's time to get the hair done now. I got two combs. This is for mustache and eyebrows. <coughs> and um, these things, what are they called? Sideburns. I don't know why I got that name. But uh, yeah, just uh, get them a quick comb out. I got some uh, Yeah, this is my hair tutorial. <laughs> this is my hair for tutorial for guys that don't give a shit. <laughs> so one thing you'll notice that if you're with me <clears throat> and I get I hear a lot of complaints about that. Is that <coughs> be right back? <laughs> okay, now that I've just coughed myself into a coma, one thing you'll notice is I don't annoy you is that I frequently wash my hands because I just cannot, you know, when I, I watch people go into a uh, when I was in university, they go into the washroom. They take a, a shit or whatever they were doing. They come right back out and use the computers without washing their hands. And so, if they do that on the computers, they're going to do that in the pay phones and door handles and everything. One thing I hate is shaking people's hands, touching pay phones or computer terminals. And I bring this bottle of sanitizer with me. Because you never know where someone's put their hands, right? And the bacteria and viruses on the... Oh my god, it's terrible, so... Rather than catch a disease or anything... I mean, love the way the strain comes out. I'll show you why this happens. In a minute. <clears throat> but rather than catch a disease or anything... I just constantly wash my hands because I can't stand human grease. If I gotta, if I have to use a pay phone, I'll put a piece of paper over the earpiece because I don't want to touch it. <laughs> and yeah, I get criticized with this a lot, but um, you know, they're the ones that catch the colds all the time and the flu. I haven't had the flu for years. I think I was a child. I think I've had the flu since I was a child. Anyway, 
keep the hands clean to avoid catching diseases. So, the hair hand hangs out in these little strand pieces that you see here. Well, it's because I have something called a, I don't know if you can see that in this camera. I'm using an analog camera. This isn't digital. So I'm going to be quite distorted when you look at it and on YouTube. There's a little knot here, a natural knot. In that ancient China, well, not exactly all ancient, but modern history of China, people who wore knots in their hair, it signified that they were the servant of the people, or the lowest, the low class of the people. They weren't the high and the mighty, the rulers, the, um, the uh, top echelon of humanity, so these people brag. They are the people with the knot in the hair with, in China were the servants. And I respect that decision very much because uh, <clears throat> to be the servant is actually to be the leader of the people. And I would rather be with the low than with the high and mighty any day of the week. So when I put this knot up it causes the other hair which is really thin actually to hang out in strands. You know, big deal. So this is the part this is my hair tutorial. You comb it. <laughs> you comb it. You know, it's uh, only a small knot, so it's it's in there. It's in there permanently. I won't cut it off. It's uh, a lot of symbol symbolism. But I have to um, tie the other hair to it. That's what causes the strands to appear, which you'll see a lot in my a lot of my videos. It's just not a thick <clears throat> piece of hair, so I I got the plastic band. <clears throat>